Okay, welcome back. Uh, how you doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm on page seven in the manual, and I have the left wing, the right wing, and a big long bag of stuff. And we're first off, what we're going to do is install the vortex generators. Okay, so what's a vortex generator? Well, that's why you open up the big bag of stuff here. As it says on page uh, 7, um, so the big bag of stuff contains two wing struts. Don't need those right now. Contains a uh, carbon fiber wing tube. Don't need that right now. And it contains Let's see. There we go. So it contains four of these vortex generators. And uh, as you can see in the manual, it shows the direction that the vortex generator should be in. Okay, see that? So, um, I'm going to leave that right like that, so it gives me a good view. And so I'm going to take two vortex generators, and I think they're all identical. Let me just verify that. Yes, all four vortex generators are the same uh, length, and the vortex lines on them are the same. So... Um, you want the vortex generators to be pointing like an arrow up. <clears throat> and um, so you're going to put one there, and you're going to put one there. And um, that's how you put them in. And then you should have four of these double-sided sticky things. So we're going to put those in one at a time. So first thing I'm going to do is test fit. What I always like to do is test fit. I'm going to take these out. Alright, so basically the vortex generators fit perfectly with about an eighth inch gap between them. Okay, so I'm going to take them out. And I'll keep them oriented in the direction they go. So uh, when I get ready to put them in, they'll just slide right in place. And then I'm going to test fit the um, this double-sided sticky stuff. And let's make sure that they fit carefully. Okay, yeah. So they fit uh, with a bit more gap, maybe like uh, three sixteenths of a gap instead of an eighth of a gap. <clears throat> Not quite a quarter. So they fit. So what I plan to do is uh, orient to the outside. So I'm going to orient that this sticky that way. I'm going to orient that sticky that way, and uh, not butt them together in the center too much. So um, oops, this vortex generator got. Upside down somehow. All right, there we go. So, vortex generators are um, in the right direction. So I'm going to peel off the back side of the sticky. And the back side of the sticky is any side that you can peel off first. There we go. So I'm going to peel that off. And I'm going to get this end down here to lay down in the track. Pull it reasonably tight and get it all the way down in the track. And basically press that down in place. Yeah, this is your last chance to press that in place. All right. <clears throat> then I'm going to get the other 
to give back. And peel that off. And I'm going to orient it in the track where this is as close as possible to that end. Okay. Two vortex generator sticky back things are in place. And then I'm going to grab a pair of nice tweezers and see if I can peel that this side of the sticky back up. Peel this side up. Okay. Now, double checking and making sure that the vortex generators are in the right direction. So they point like an arrow going toward the front of the aircraft. And they look like they're in the right pot. So I'm just going to put this down at this end. Try to get it nice and straight. And put that down in place. Press it down a little. Okay. And get the other vortex generator. Make sure it's in the same direction. Arrow kind of pointing up. Start at this end and come down like that. All right. So now I'm just going to use my thumbs here and make sure that's all pressed down. Okay, one vortex generator done. I'm going to stop the camera and get ready for the next one. Okay, so here we go with vortex generator number two. Getting this double-sided sticky stuff ready. This double-sided sticky stuff is stretchy, so you can stretch it a little bit. I wouldn't, but you can, so be careful. Okay, so then we get the next one ready. Okay, and we'll peel up the top side. This is good and sticky stuff too. So once on, you're not going to move it. <clears throat> All right, vortex generator oriented in the right direction per the instructions here. And I'm going to align this one in this direction and get this nice and well aligned. Let it plop down in place. Okay, and this one is oriented in the same direction. Start at this end and work my way to the center. That's in place. I'm just use my thumbs to go along here 
and basically press down well. And that vortex generator probably will not come out. Okay, vortex generators are in place.